welcome back to our class don't forget to subscribe if it is your first time to visit our channel let's look at uh, artificial selection what is because we have talked about natural selection nature selects which one is best suited to the environment but here artificial selection is the human which selects which one is supposed to continue with life or not which characters do you need actually it depends on um, it depends on the desire of the human being it's where humans select for a desirable characteristic or de uh, select for uh, desirable traits in agricultural products animals uh, rather than uh, leaving the species to evolve a uh, natural or gradually without human in interference so in this case we have humans are uh, being interfering uh, what is um, happening in the world in the environment so humans select maybe i want a uh, uh, birds with or chicken with uh, big big eggs which can produce big eggs so i'll be selecting them for for long time humans have been using this uh, kind of method during breeding experiment to develop organisms with uh, a selected uh, set of desirable characteristics so they keep on selecting those which are having desirable characteristics then they select them and then they keep them and those which don't have desirable characteristics, they remove them from the what? From the system. An example, you can find that uh, they do select because of the following reasons. Number one, increase uh, the, 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 the quality and the quantity of milk produ produced by cows. Sometimes you can ask you the functions of artificial selection, the benefits of artificial selection. So these are the things you can uh, give us that um, results in increase the quality and the quantity of milk production or, or produced by the cows. Then also drought resistant organisms, they select for those organisms which can resist the droughts. And then disease resistant organisms also select they want organisms which can resist diseases. Yes, so these are benefits also of artificial selection. And then increase sugar content in the sugar cane because they want to produce um, a small sugar cane can produce a large amount of sugar. So there are some of the examples. Yeah, they study with these dogs. You find out that they want these characteristics. So these dogs which have such characteristics, they are being uh, kept, they are being uh, bred so that after so many generations, you end up having such. The same story here, they started with this. You see 1957, uh, the chicken was like this. 1978, uh, it was like this. 2005, it's like this. So it means that the one which can have big meat or can produce meat, then they are being what? Uh, selected for and then those ones which can produce uh, big meat or large meat or high quality meat then they remove them from the system the same story here to the maize and the wheat so this is the process what happens S suppose you, you you want to uh, you want you wanted a variety of cow that can produce a lot of milk so what happens you choose or select the cow in your herd that produce most milk so you look you are looking for the the cow which has the characteristic you, you are looking for or a character you're looking for and then you let these cows reproduce you let them mate and then they reproduce then they'll produce kids they they select um, select the offsprings that produce the most milk so the the the, the, the offspring will be produced and these offsprings will be having those which can produce more milk and those which cannot produce uh, more milk so those which can produce more milk you keep them so you keep on uh, selecting them until the genes become pure then you're saying that you let only these offsprings to reproduce the one which can produce milk you let them uh, reproduce keep repeating the process of selection and uh, breeding until you achieve your goal until those animals which can produce milk are obtained so what are some of the differences between natural selection and artificial selection? So we have seen that uh, uh, in uh, natural selection, environment, yes, it, it occurs in environment. So the environment or nature is the selective force. While in artificial selection, humans select, select. So it's human is the selective force. Here in the environment, the environment select which one is the best suit. While this one is human. Uh, like desirable characteristics. And then number two, um, selection is uh, in response to what suits to the environment. What, what can what which character can survive in the environment? Well, here it satisfies the human needs. It's not about which character is suitable in environment. No, what uh, sustains the human needs? And then this one uh, occurs within the species, while this ones occur 
it can occur in one species more than one yes it, because you can crossbreed from different between the two species yes but well this one occurs in one uh, species strictly in one species yes so that's uh, some of the differences between artificial selection and the natural selection let's look at a speciation